This is a Game Caviar production. Street Fighter versus Mega Man. This is not a a custom game. This is not some sort of emulator or a, a ROM that somebody made at home. This is a legit game. Capcom, uh, who, who is celebrating the 25, the 25th anniversary of, uh, I guess, Mega Man and Street Fighter, decided to put them together in a game. So this is what came out. Mega Man versus Street Fighter, Street Fighter versus Mega Man, whatever you want to call it. This is the Chung Lee level. And this is just like any other Mega Man game. If you played uh, Mega Man before, especially the older games, this is basically it. You have your jump, your shoot. Every time you beat one of the Street Fighter characters, you get a power that you can use forward, going forward in the game. And the sound, it, you can hear it. It's just the same 8-bit sound, the same 8-bit graphics, the same things that you loved about the uh, the old Mega Man games. It's all in this game. The best part about this game, the best part, listen closely, the best part about this game is that it's free. Completely free. You go to Capcom, um, whatever, World or something. I'll put the link in the description. But you go to it. And then you just select the region that you want to download it from, and then you download it for free. The download took about 10 minutes or so. No, it took less than 10 minutes. It depends on your internet connection. The file's not that big, because look at it. I mean, it's an 8-bit game. It's not going to be that big. Anyway, a lot of fun, okay? The 8-bit music matches the character of the uh, the whoever you're going up against. Uh, the levels are fun, and... Uh, the boss battles are just as good as they are in any other Mega Man game. Uh, let me see. They had... I got owned in this one, though, because Chung li is... Uh, she's pretty... She's. You'll see. You just got to do the whole... Um, you know You know how it used to be in Mega Man where they had... If you beat a boss, you could use their power to overpower other bosses. And it, I imagine it's the same way. I, I just... I played it for a little while... And I was like, I have to make a video for this to spread this around in case people just don't know about this game. I had came across it on the internet and I was on Boxton.com, uh, a forum that I go to a lot, which is like the best forum on the internet. And a lot of guys were talking about it and talking about it. And it finally got released and I downloaded it and here we go. It's free. Like, they didn't charge anything to download this game, okay? This guy right here that keeps teleporting was giving me a tough time, but at the end, at the end, I finally got the better of him. I cannot, they, the be, you know what? This game would be perfect for the PlayStation Vita. As of, as of right now, it is only on PC, okay? It's not on Mac, not on Linux, it's only on PC. And right now, that's a bad thing because it really limits the audience and who plays this game. I would like to see games like this, this game and games like this on the Vita. One of the best games that I played on Vita, not graphical wise or anything like that, was Metro Retro City Rampage. And it's got that old handheld feel, retro feel to it. I, I never played it on a PS3, but I have played it on a Vita a lot. And the thing is, what the thing about Vita is that it doesn't have that game that that really that you that really makes people want to buy it and want to play it. A game like this would be perfect for Vita because it it gives you that quick mobile gaming that people are looking for. That people normally get from their video I mean not their video game, from their cell phones right now. Let's face it, the Vita is not a great handheld platform right now. It looks good on paper, and if you get one, you understand just how much potential it has, but potential doesn't necessarily transfer over into sales and popularity, and it's very evident with the Vita. A game like this would be perfect on it. If I was Sony, I'd be knocking down Capcom's door trying to get them to uh, put it on the Vita. Even, I mean, you can still make it free or whatever. I don't know. They, I'm pretty sure they would charge something, but uh, it might still. It, it, it should be free, and it'd probably be free for PlayStation Plus subscribers or for everybody. I don't care. It doesn't matter. This game needs to be on Vita. If I were you and I had a Vita, 
or I'm just a fan of Sony or Mega Man or whatever, I would definitely uh, do whatever you can to get this on Vita. I don't know whether you tweet Sony or send them an email, or send them a strongly worded letter. I don't care what you have to do. Okay, I would leave the charge on this. If you want me to, let's, let's bind together as gamers and say, Sony, listen, get your heads out of your asses and put Mega Man vs. Street Fighter on PlayStation Vita. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.